What is up guys, just want to show you how to do the Black Fathom Deeps for, uh, what is it, it's Undead this week. So this deck is, this is, well, a couple things. This uh, first map is not the easiest map in the world. It's uh, it's good because it's the first map. I actually don't even want to say that it's the hardest one of the three because it's probably not. But these Ogre Magi you do have to deal with and these uh, Torrens are also always a problem. They take out your backline DPS. They're just, they're just big beefy boys. So we have our own Torrent, uh, which is very useful in this map oftentimes too. And uh, then we're running Baron. So this is only a, a yellow level quest. I gotta get, I gotta get moving. Um, it's Christmas Eve and got traveling to do. So I was going to push up, but nah, didn't do it. Um, so you saw where that uh, safe pilot landed up there. That's a really nice spot to land safe pilot because it will take out those two uh, Morlocks up there. And then uh, she does some pretty good work. So this is more of a one push work it out type thing, I think. Eh, no, it's probably not. we got to deal with this a little bit more. But um, a very nice push here for uh, the very start, but taking the right is the most important. I usually don't take the left. I think it's less valuable than the right, but uh, it was just a simple one push. So hammer on that right, use this uh, um, Torn and uh, Baron deck and you'll be just fine. On to map two. So this start for the second level, you want to stay on the right side the entire time and uh, just push through this middle. You don't want to deal with the uh, with the poison as much as possible. So, um, I have this Torrent in here, which is just, it does a lot of good work, but it's not really the best for here because everything they throw at you is air units. So, we have our Harpies to deal with that, and we have a Pyromancer, our Safe Pilot, and Welpegs to all deal with that. So, we have four cards basically to deal with air, and the most dangerous air is this, uh, Gargoyle, which is a, a massive problem. So, um, we're dealing with that with uh, Pyromancer, which does really good work against the Gargoyle. Um, that was probably a little bit bad placement if I put it on the right side of that line. It still would have attacked, but, you know, I just still dealt with it and we're moving along. The Banshee is also the other thing. I forgot about that. So, Banshee, I know I'm going to lose my, uh, my Baron here if I don't throw that down, so that kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah, he kind of kind of had to take your medicine there. It's either to lose the Banshee or lose, uh lose a cool bore, so I chose the cool bore. Yeah, the safe pilot is, is clutch for so many uh, of these pushes that they have, because they usually ball up pretty well, and uh, things can snowball out of, out of control pretty quick, especially if a uh, gargoyle's with them. I don't know if they have any kind of special gold treatment here. I don't think they do, but it feels like they outproduce you pretty significantly, so you do have to play well. You can't just, you can't just throw things all willy-nilly or else you're going to be in trouble. So again, we have this Gargoyle push. That is the number one thing to look out for. I know I'm going to take a few hits here, but it's okay. Um, I just basically need to get pushing in here as soon as possible because I've already taken half, half my damage and I need to really start pushing. Wasted a little bit too much gold there. Got pretty lucky with that uh, Baron moving the uh, Drake, but yeah, these Drakes just come in one after another after another, it's really annoying. That was a good save pilot, we also got a uh, Banshee out of that, which is pretty huge. And they have another big old push coming, so Firemancer does really, really good work here. You could sub things out like Dark Spear Troll, would be good for this level. In my opinion, this is probably the toughest level. First level is not easy either. The third level is not the easiest either. But uh, in my opinion, this is the, the one that can go south the fastest. Just because if you don't save up for that gar gargoyle, which he put up on top this time, and I know as slow as that gargoyle is, it's more of a base race situation. Like I'm just gonna focus on going in um, while he's gonna take 30 seconds plus by getting until he can get to my uh, base. So this probably is enough for a safe pilot. If not, really, really close. I could wait till Welpegs are just throwing this uh, cool board, and all I need is a touch, just a hit or two. One, two. Alright. So that's the third level. Stay in the middle lane, deal with that uh, range, the uh, air units. And then on to map three. Alright, so this one, the strategy is there's, there's three different Sleeping Sea Serpent dudes. 
I like to take the left one first if possible, and then the right one, and then once I take the left one and that tower, I focus fully on the right. So uh, there's a, a couple good reasons why you'd want to focus the left first, kill that and the tower. Um, I say that while I threw a little bit at the right too, but uh, that was mostly to deal with his aggression coming in. So uh, the little bridge that goes above this tower is a really good thing. Those are almost good well pegs, but then not so much. So I have a little bit of a problem here coming in, but we'll deal with it. Deal with it just fine. So one of the uh, problems with... Uh, I'm sorry, not one of the problems. One of the best things to do by taking that middle tower is they still send a lot of things down this ramp. And you can do things like save, save pilot on top of the ramp or pyromancer over top of it. And you'll see here pretty soon once I, once I actually start winning this battle, because right now I am certainly not, uh, you can maintain a lot of control by, uh, by just killing that right serp serpent and then focusing over top of that tower or over top of that bridge on the left without being in any danger of getting hit. So this should be enough to take that tower, being close to it. So now we're going to try to finish off the serpent on the left, I'm sorry, on the right. Um, this looks like we'll quite be able to do either, actually. Maybe. And yeah, we can take this tower in the middle, probably. Alright, and that tower, or that uh, other dude did go down, so. We're a little over a minute in, and um, we were able to take kind of the first two objectives, which are the most important. And um, I always click this switch off to the left because anything that goes into those little uh, that little waterfall uh, dies immediately if it's, if it's our stuff. So you can see our range units here doing work um, on the stuff below at no danger. So uh, I did end up putting that uh, that uh, Quilbor up there. You saw just die, but he took the gold, so that's good. Once you knock down this third sea serpent, and then that water wall goes down. And then there's three more you have to deal with past that water wall. One of them is asleep. If you can avoid hitting the middle one, um, that's pretty good, just so you can uh, deal more damage, but you know your guys will do what they do. So that thing is about ready to go down. I'm going to push push on the right side now that you can. And uh, optimally you want to hit the guys on the left and the right, and not the middle guy, because the middle guy is still sleeping. But, uh... You gotta kinda gotta get lucky for that. And I have Stone Tough Torrin, which uh Stone Hoof Torrin, which will just warp around and hit anything he wants, so he probably will rake wake that guy up. But we have such a good push here. Uh yeah, there he goes. It's fine though. Just throw in everything you can at him right now. You can win all the gold battles, you can get the chests, you can get the uh the gold mines to the left and to the close to the middle, or close to the start. Pretty easy level, in my opinion. You just have to win that early battle. And then once you're at this point, it's really not a big deal anymore. So yeah, this deck I think will work best. Like I said, second level you do need to deal with in, uh, in some pretty clever ways. I think Blizzard would be a good jo job. Uh, Pyromancer is good. Um, Stone Tooth, not Tooth Torn, uh, the Troll would be a good idea. Anything that takes care of the, the air units. And then the first level is, is somewhat difficult, but you can restart that easier just because it's the first level, you know. So, like I said, this is only a yellow level quest, and it's Christmas Eve, and i got to get moving and get traveling. I was going to try to push this into reds and stuff, but I just don't have time. So, hopefully this helps some. And, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff if this uh, helps you out. And check out all my other heroic guides if you guys are doing that too. All right, you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that. And until the next time, y'all take care.